He's got a lot of people on his side, but like you said, Nick, this is a tall task. He's a big underdog as far as competitive goes. Noah is no guy you can play around with. And we haven't mentioned this yet for our, our cool. new viewers out there. You see that delay of game. It's been declined all three times. It's a common gentleman's agreement here in the game of Madden. Yeah, you know, it gives you that those 30 seconds to kind of set your audibles, set your rosters, sub in the guys you need. And most times you're going to see everyone decline it. That's so you can both do it on both sides of the ball. TD Barrett on offense to start this game. How about a little read option? And it's Michael Vick, first down and more. He'll slide down at the 40-yard line. Great start offensively for the Out YouTube star. Barrett ran this run. This is the best quarterback run in Madden NFL 21. We're going to break it down for you here in just a second. But for those of you guys that don't know, my name is Cody. My channel is all about Madden 21 tips and tricks. And so uh, what we do here is we post four videos a day on YouTube that are going to give you different offensive and defensive tactics to uh, really be able to work the ball up and down the field on your opponent and also get critical stops. Uh, now, Noah's one of the best defensive players. TD Barrett was relatively new in the competitive scene, but obviously a great Madden player in his own right, and he actually balled out in this game. I thought it was really, really effective. We're actually going to do a full film study on him down the road, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. But we're going to jump right into this very special run that I thought was very, very effective that he used. Now, you don't have to have fast break. Obviously, it does help. And we're going to jump over here into game. And what you're going to notice here is that most people that play Madden, they know that read option is going to be a thing. And so what they're going to do is they're going to put their option defense on conservative. As you see here, it says the pro is it focuses on the QB on the option. So in theory, this is going to basically stop the read option. But the reality is that what Noah quickly figured out with this QB wrap is essentially – this is not going to stop it because what happens is this is not exactly a read option. It's simply a quarterback counter. And so as you can see right here, you're going to get great blocking. And if you have a good, a good quarterback like a Lamar Jackson, you're going to be able to easily work the ball up and down the field with this QB wrap. They're really going to have to over pursue to stop this. And what this is really, really cool that it does um, is I don't know why I'm just juking out of my shoes right here. My controller is kind of wigging out on me. But what you'll notice that this does is this is going to open up all kinds of things for your passing game because the defense is going to have to, as Noah did in this game, give so many resources to stopping this. They're going to have to put their safeties and spies. They're going to have to do all kinds of things that they probably don't want to have to do, right? And if you have a good quarterback, a good mobile quarterback, this thing is actually a really, really viable option. We've seen TD Barrett do this pretty much all season. If you guys follow his channel or see any of, the, any of his content, you're going to see that he is going to consistently run QB wrap in key situations. Honestly, I think he might actually want to run it a little bit more than even he does. Um, I think that this actually could be a run, not necessarily that you spammed, but that you really establish, um, especially if you have a mobile quarterback and you're running some type of spread type of offense. Now, I want to back out here just for a second. Now, obviously, the run is really good. And in my opinion, you can run that run in key situations, and it will always be uh, very, very effective for you. But one of the other things that I wanted to show you from this spread double flex is you actually have some really, really good passing plays. You could go with FL cross. You could go with deep curl. PA read is really, really good. And then obviously you have hitch corners. All of these are really, really good plays. And then obviously you can go to this spread Y flex formation, which has really good plays like Ravens HB seam. It has the under Y option, which is one of my personal favorite plays in the game. It has um, good old faithful deep attack. PA deep outs, but really what I love about this formation is it has the circle play, which is one of the best passing plays in Madden 21. So you can kind of work in between these two formations, um, obviously basing your stuff around the QB wrap, but now what's going to happen is because they're having to um, extend so much uh, resources to stop this thing, then simply you can go to this right here, and as you see, it's only one little motion difference. There's not a whole lot that changes uh, for your quarterback. But now you're in a really, really effective passing play that you can easily, you know, kind of quick hike and run a little bit of a no huddle scheme with this Ravens book. So obviously the QB wrap, I think it's probably one of the best runs in Madden 21 because you just get such good blocking. It's definitely the best QB run in the game, at least so far um, with the with what they've done to the QB draws and how they've kind of negated uh, the power of, of QB draw. Um, the best thing that you can do to stop it is get that linebacker to come up and shoot the gap right there. But if you just ID that strong side linebacker, you're going to find 
that you're going to actually break a lot of runs within this. They're going to have to really blitz you to stop it. And then what you're going to be able to do in behind that is go to something like this deep curl. It's a nice simple drive concept on the left side. And that drag route is going to be open. And you're going to be able to move the ball down the field with this offense. So this is just something, you know, it's a simple four-play mini scheme. I mean, you go to something like Ravens HB scheme. And basically what you could do is run a simply a curl flat concept on the, on the right side. you got four verticals on the left side. So if they run zone coverage, you know, you're going to be able to hit that route to Dobbins right up the seam very, very easily. If they're in man coverage, you can obviously hit your curl route. You know, and you can hit routes like that all day long. But you see something like this, you know, max coverage defense. This is really, really good. And really, like I said, they have to blitz people or they have to spy people to be able to stop this. They have to get a lot very aggressive with their user. So then you go to something like PA Reed. It looks very similar to QB Rap, but now you're in play action. And now you see you've got that nice post going over the middle of the field. Um, if you can hit that or you have that crossing route. Um, and obviously you can do some stuff on the back side of this thing to make it really, really good. For example, you could leave the streak. Or what you could do is one of my things that I like to do is just run effectively a slant um, and drag combination right here um, to kind of clear out some space for that little crosser, and he's going to get over the top of a lot of coverages. So a lot of things that you can do with this. I just wanted to share this this run play. I haven't talked about this yet on my channel. It is a very, very effective run play, and TD Barrett is definitely the master of QB rap. We'll show you here. Uh, it pretty much starts every game, as you see right here. This time, Noah was able to blow it up, but overall, I thought just a phenomenal job of working that play in and out and then you could go to something like these hitch corners this little streak to the running back is really really effective um, especially if you have a matchup advantage so um, anyways just wanted to share that with you that's a little mini scheme out of the ravens book now if you want to get um, full schemes for me i have a full um, text message membership that breaks down full schemes from other uh, from different playbooks so far we've broken down the gun bunch from carolina we've broken down the minnesota vikings single back trio um, the new england patriots we've broken down the u trips from that formation as well as some other formations we've broken down the big nickel over g defense and so if you want to get access to those schemes every single week just shoot me a text message by shooting me a text message you're going to get access to um, not only the videos that we've already done but we release a new video every single week so we'll probably do a Ravens scheme at some point in that e in that text message series um, we're also looking at doing some stuff from the spread more air raid so uh, just a really good content uh, machine there and we're looking at actually doing some defensive stuff as well this week because um, it's been a little bit since we've done some defensive stuff we did just release a new england patriots ebook if you're interested the sample formations for those are in this membership so if you want to get free sample formations from our ebook these um these schemes are typically 45 minutes to an hour long so they're really really in depth we go through exactly everything that you need to know to run them at a high level so i'd highly encourage you to just shoot me a text message and get signed up for that other than that guys we're going to see you later on tonight um we're going to be posting videos at two o'clock four o'clock six o'clock and eight o'clock p.m eastern time and we'll also be live streaming at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time this evening so thank you so much for your time really appreciate it and we'll see you guys on stream if you have any questions about madden shoot me a text let me know what you thought let me know what you thought of the video and let me know what you thought of td baird's performance against noah up next thanks a lot guys and we'll see you later